is Odysseus' bow the new golden bow? Duke, what kind of clickbaity title is that? Yeah, I know, you may be thinking that, but hear me out because I'm actually serious about this. Now, Odysseus' bow has gotten a nerf originally and a buff on the PTS, which was decreasing the damage per bounce while dropping the price. What hardly anyone knows is that before the patch hit life, Odysseus' bow's nerf was reverted. So the price drop still happened, but the damage reduction was removed. So the passive of Odysseus' bow now once again scales with 50% of your power. This overall makes the item pretty damn good. The item now costs 2100 gold, gives you plus 40% attack speed, and it gives you that passive which bounces to up to 4 nearby enemies and does 50% scaling of your power plus 30 base damage. Even on really low ranks with no other items or anything, this will average around 50 base damage when you hit level 5, 6, 7, 8, where you are able to buy the item if you were to rush it with charged bow. So essentially, I may have to eat my words here. I was saying in a very recent video that in its current state, Ikaival may probably not have any real competition, it may not be re replaced by anything else. With the reverted nerf on Odysseus' bow, I feel that Odysseus' bow can very well be a competition for Ikaival. The main question here is rather, when will it be built? Now, if you remember Golden Bow, then you know that Golden Bow was also very strong because Throwing Dagger already had that cleave. So basically you would start the game with Throwing Dagger and you would have a severe clear advantage and that's why it was effectively removed. Even after switching the numbers up a bit, Throwing Dagger was still, still very effective and that didn't really change until the end. Charged Bow, Odysseus Bow Tier 2 is not quite on the same level. Charged Bow only has 20 attack speed and a bounce with 20 physical damage, no scaling. So it's alright, but it's nothing crazy. And it's not gonna be a lane dominant pressure that you can create only by having charged bow. So you basically need Odysseus bow for that to happen. But as charged bow is not that great, it is questionable if we'll be seeing Odysseus bow being rushed as a first slot item. I couldn't imagine it, I am not entirely opposed to the thought, but I feel that against a traditional ability-based start with a death toll, with some sustain and then into power boots, it will struggle a bit. Not so much against other starts like Transcendence, stuff like that. So what I tried out in a game was a death toll boot start where I would go into Odysseus bow as the next item. What you obviously lack in that regard is sustain. So that's a bit of an issue, but then again, you have death toll, so it's not too bad. And if you have been following the meta, there are quite a few builds at the moment that don't really have much sustain. You also don't get any penetration. So if you're looking for heavy ability damage, that is not gonna be the case as much simply because you have zero pen until that point. So what I did was I rushed Death Toll, Boots, Odysseus Bow. I had a decent amount of power behind the passive that way. I had the power from Death Toll plus the power from Power Boots. I could have gone Attack Speed Boots here, but that would have taken away from the additional benefit of Odysseus Bow, which I'm not sure if it's gonna be worth it. I think that if Odysseus Bow becomes a staple in builds, then we may see something like Odysseus Bow and Attack Speed Boots being combined, maybe trading out Power Boots later and then going for less attack speed items overall, as Odysseus Bow on his own already has 40%, but that's something to consider a bit down the road. What is fairly certain though, is that the moment you get Odysseus Bow, your clear becomes extremely dominant over your opponent. This was already the case before, but as the item was 350 gold more expensive, it was hardly worth investing into it earlier, as there are just other choices that help you out better. You could also still get some other attack speed items before. I would probably not get a Kaival simply because you're not gonna look for that much of a starter item build, but at least RC should still be decent. But it will still put you behind a little bit. So I feel like if you can skip the sustain for a while, Odysseus Bow is gonna give you a lot of potential. 
You're not as dependent on penetration and ability damage as your basic attacks will give you very, very good clear with Odysseus Bow. And you can use your abilities to bully the opponent at all times. So it doesn't really matter as much if you deal a little less damage with the abilities as you're just going to use a lot more of them on the enemy. So overall, I think Odysseus Bow has a very good place in third slot. Uh, obviously, very beneficial to combine it with kin size due to the high attack speed that it gives you. And then maybe going for some flat penetration and attack speed uh, with Asi. Or other options. I'm really not... I haven't tested this thoroughly with all the options that could be possible because there are so many. For example, you could also, different from the build that I'm going in the video you're seeing, you could also start with Transcendence and go into maybe Power Boots or Attack Speed Boot and then into Odysseus Bow to get much higher bounce damage with Odysseus Bow while having extreme clear dominance as you can spam your abilities due to Transcendence while also having faster basic attacks. Maybe that's an option. I don't think it will be staple. Once again, you would also sacrifice too much of your sustain. But I think that Odysseus Bow will become a standard in pretty much every build until it sees further nerfs now, as it simply is a bit too good to pass up on. Yes, the Kaival still allows for better direct boxing, but now that Odysseus Bow has so much behind it for such a low price, I think that you will have to have a very good reason to skip it in the first place and not implement it in your build, even if you're building a Kaival. I think it's not gonna be as late game focused anymore, I think you gotta build it Maybe, maybe at 4th, or if you're gonna go very, very late at 5th slot, but not really later than that. The lane pressure that a player with Odysseus Bow gets at this point is extremely dominant, and I think the only guards who can really justify not picking up are those who clear very, very early with their abilities, like for example Anher. But even there, I could still see the purpose. It's kind of as with Golden Bow, that yeah, you could clear with your abilities, but you could also clear with basic attacks and then use your abilities on the enemy for more benefits. Guards that especially benefit from this are those who kind of either have not too much attack speed in their build naturally, have some kind of extra benefit from attack speed, like for example, Apollo, who then gets his passive up faster, and that way will be able to get more attack speed on top of that, which will also give you more bounces once again. So Apollo is a prime example here. Shibalanke, because he gets power from his passive if he kills enemies regardless, so he's not as dependent on getting more power items and can instead invest more into a full attack speed item. But really, realistically, I don't see a single hunter where I would completely be opposed to building a Odysseus Bow in its current state, because it's just extremely potent. What's different from when Golden Bow was there is that it is not as beneficial for other classes, other roles. It still is for some of them, for example Kali or maybe Arachne even, but at the same time you have to keep in mind that Odysseus Bow works best when you have some extra attack speed along with it, and most other classes don't really invest too much into attack speed, so therefore they don't get the full benefit that a hunter will, as it only procs every four shots, different from Golden Bow, which used to proc on every shot. That is my first verdict of Odysseus Bow in its current state. I think we're gonna see a lot more of it. The price really justifies picking it up. It's gonna give you a lot of lane pressure, and it may actually give some real competition to Ikaival. If the builds now develop as I expect them to, this will be a very drastic change to the meta, which I find surprising so shortly before the World Championship. But we will see. Maybe the change will get reverted again, or maybe I am just overestimating this based on the games that I had. I honestly believe that the buff may be a little too much, and I would probably rather not go back to a meta where hunters can easily clear without actually having to use abilities, but that's just my take on it. With that, thank you guys for watching, I will see you for the next video tomorrow. If you're watching this shortly after it came out, I will also be streaming right now, so feel free to stop by, the link's down below, twitch.tv slash dukesloth. Dukesloth, out.